Hey, sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. You are lucky enough to play on this court on the second Sunday in March. It means you're one of the two teams standing in the greatest league in America. But only one team can call it a banner season. Will it be the upstart Kingsmen claiming the title in their first year back in the AA? Or will Boogie Flan and Archbishop Stepanak make it back to back championships? The 96th Annual Catholic Championship is next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And today's championship game is sponsored by Maspeth Federal Savings. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Dylan Butler alongside former St. Ray's head coach and Catholic League Hall of Famer Oliver Antigua. And Oliver, the Big East has Madison Square Garden. But if you grow up in the Catholic League, you dream of playing on this court on the second Sunday in March. No question about it. It's a special place. Rose Hill Gymnasium in the Bronx. New York City Catholic League. They're one of the best leagues in the country with an unbelievable history of great players, coaches, and teams. This should be a great battle today, Dylan. We'll take a look, Oliver, at the bracket and how these two teams made their way here to the championship game here at Rose Hill Gymnasium. And you can see here Nazareth uh, taking a little bit of a tougher route from Brooklyn where uh, they had to survive in advance against Scanlon, only scoring one basket in the fourth quarter, and then also surviving a late run by St. Raymond's to make it to this championship game, where, whereas Stepanak, uh, they have been led, and we'll detail him throughout by Boogie Fland, a monster performance against Christ the King, 43 in that one, and then the Crusaders defeating St. Francis Prep, 73-52, to reach their fifth consecutive championship game. We'll show you now some of those images from the semi-final games and we take you back to Wednesday night here at Rose Hill. It's Nazareth and St. Ray's and Anderson Diaz, the mayor of Castle Hill, getting it started but then a lot of athleticism and a lot of ballers big time three. Naz knocks him down at, a, at an alarming rate. Another one, that's Halon Rollins from the corner and then this is how you close it out for Nazareth. You got the and one by Jesse Roman and the Kingsmen. The second seed out of Brooklyn, Queens, they make it to the championship game. And two teams who have been to multiple semifinals battled, but this one really from the beginning, even though Tro Troy Faison tried to get the Terriers back into it, it was a whole lot of Josiah Jervis knocking down triples, a whole lot of Boogie, Danny Carbusia, just such balance for these Crusaders as they cruised past St. Francis Prep and back in to the championship game. It is so hard, Oliver, you know it, as a former head coach in his league, to get to this game once. But in this one, it's so unique because you've got a Nazareth team. You see them warming up now. This is technically their third consecutive trip to a championship game. They made the A final the last two years. They move up to the double A this year for the first time in 40 years. 
And yet the Kingsmen, led by that man right there, Gary Irvin, found their way, even though a lot of people probably didn't expect it, found their way in to this championship game. Well, first of all, you got to give a tremendous amount of credit to Coach Gary and his staff to be able to navigate moving up from the A to the double A with all the attention and the, and, and the notoriety and then challenging a great regular season. And sometimes as a coach, winning close games in the playoffs is a benefit because it makes you battle tested. You got to make those important decisions and it's, your players understand game winning uh, end the game situations. And um, so sometimes th that those help you in a big game like this. And for Stepanak, coaching when you're the favorite is just as difficult as coaching as the underdog. And what Coach Pat and the staff were able to do to get to the five straight finals is unbelievable. We'll take a look now at the Nazareth Impact Players and the Impact Players are brought to you by Hot Shot Basketball. And two young men who have done it all year long for these Kingsmen on the left, it's Halon Rollins. Listen, he has been the guy, right? Athletic. We see his numbers offensively in the semifinals, but I know that you love his game on the other end of the court. Ooh, stat sheet stuff for this kid, 6'6", does it all, long length, shoots the three, challenges every shot on the defensive end, which what makes Nazareth a really tough out to score because he really is a rim protector, athlete, and super athletic. So he gets them from the defensive end in transition to the offensive end. And you need to have a senior point guard you, or you love to have a senior point guard on this second Sunday in March, and that's what Tristan Rogers brings to Nazareth. So we flip it to the other side, and if Nazareth are the surprise team in the AA championship, and that's a surprise, by the way, outside of the Nazareth community, these guys are the wire-to-wire -wire favorite. They won the championship last year at St. John's, beating Cardinal Hayes, and they've returned nine players from that team, including a McDonald's All-American, bound for Kentucky and Boogie Flan. So pressure from day one has been on Stepanak, and they have risen to that occasion. Only one slight blip in the regular season. They played that national schedule. They lost three in a row. That's three of their overall four losses. Only one league loss in the city. That was the St. Raymond's in the Archdiocese Championship. And other than that, it has been a per not perfect, but a phenomenal season for the guys from White Plains, 24 and four this year. Yeah, and you got to give credit to coaching his staff to play and challenge that national schedule and point it out to be able to navigate and go undefeated. Uh, a key point, uh, Danny uh, um, Carpusia. Carpusia yeah. got injured early in that St. Raymond's game, and he was a key player. Didn't play the rest of the second half. Had, had a huge impact in that St. Raymond's game. So um, now they're full strength uh, and got everybody together, but should be for an unbelievable matchup today in the Bronx. I'm looking forward to it, Dylan. Let's take a look at the Hot Shot Basketball Impact players for the Crusaders. And yes, it starts with Boogie Fland, who in the semifinals messed around and almost got a triple-double. 21, 8, and 7 in that win against St. Francis Prep, which followed a 43-point barrage against Christ the King. Had an off game in the Archdiocese and has put this team on his back down the stretch. We'll talk more about Boogie as this game goes along. And Braylon Ritvo... All he did this year was earn himself a Division I scholarship. He'll go to Quinnipiac, his future head coach, Tom Pacora, in the house today. But you see those numbers as well in the semifinals. An impressive performance for a team that is really the deepest in this Catholic League. Yeah, Boogie Flan, McDonald's All-American, on his way to Kentucky. I know a guy over there who can coach. <laughs> coach Cal's got a nice assistant coach from the Dominican Republic named Orlando Antigua, who does obviously a great job recruiting not only New York but national. Uh, this kid can fill it up. Uh, Allen Iverson like quickness, uh, step back threes, scores in many levels, and he's pretty athletic. You get rebounds and mix it up on the defensive end. Uh, so he'll give you a whole uh, variety of, of, of a scoring arsenal, big blue nation. Uh, they're going to be thrilled when this guy gets on campus. Yeah, he still has unfinished business, and he's played like that this year as well. A lot of guys who are those blue chip prospects who get the big signing before their start of their senior year. Sometimes they tend to coast in their senior year, not Boogie. He has been laser-focused on winning himself another championship and going out in a really, really big way. And Braylon has been tough carry. You know, he's been reliable, uh, that senior leader, uh, great three-point shooter for a big, forces defense to step out and play him.
gives uh, Stepanak that one-two punch that you need to cut the nets down. So that's a little bit on these two teams for the hot shot basketball impact, uh, excuse me, the keys to the game. We'll send it down courtside to our John Perez. Guys, we spoke to Gary Irvin earlier in the week. He said that the Kingsmen just have to throw everything that they can at Boogie Plan to try and contain him. That means face guard him, zone, man, whatever have you. Get in front of the Kentucky bound guard. He also wants his team to play better transition defense and rebound the basketball for four quarters and also hit the open man. Meanwhile, on the other side for Pat Masseroni, he wants to slow it down. This is a Nazareth team that he feels his team is comfortable against in the half court, so keep an eye on that. Find the open man, rebound, and step it back as they look to go back to back. If they execute those keys, we'll be victorious again. Guys, back to you. Thanks, John. The scene is set. Nazareth, Stepanak, the 96th annual Catholic Championship. Starting lineups and tip coming up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. My name is Grant Vermeer, a member of the Crown Refs community. My first year as a high school official, that's when I found out about the Crown Refs community. Having my military background, I love being a part of teams. I want to be a part of a group that has high standards, that holds each other accountable, but also supports and loves each other, and has a desire for everyone in the group to grow. If you're a young referee or someone who loves refereeing and wants to be a part of a group, this is an amazing community for you. I feel like I've gotten better as an official. I've had a community and friends and support through this process, which can otherwise be a little bit lonely as you're on the road a lot. The culture is amazing in here. Make sure Come check it out. Welcome to Supreme Hoops Basketball Training in the heart of Queens, New York, where passion meets performance. Are you ready to evaluate your game and unleash your true potential? At Supreme Hoops, we're not just about basketball, we're about results. Our experienced coaches are dedicated to taking your skills to the next level. Whether you thrive in group sessions or prefer the personalized attention of one-on-one -on -one coaching, Supreme Hoops has you covered. Let's get to work. Book your session today at supremehoopstraining.com. Welcome you back to the historic Rose Hill Gymnasium here in the Bronx. It's the CHSAA AA Intersectional Championship, the 96th annual. Dylan Butler, Oliver Antigua, our entire varsity media crew. Such an honor to be able to uh, call this game, bring this game to you. It's the third time, Oliver, I've been on the play-by-play -play for this. Uh, have been here, I think this is my 25th championship game in multiple different roles. I know uh, once upon a time, obviously, a player, a coach as well for St. Raymond's. Uh, you still feel that when you turn onto campus, man, that that uh, energy of, of, of this big game. No question, man. A special time, and I'm sure these teams and players are anxious and excited to get on the, get on the floor and get this ball tipped and do what they do best. It's basketball is poetry in motion for them. You know, for us, we get to enjoy it and get a back seat, but Really talented kids, great athletes, and uh, should be a special, special day for them. Time for the starting lineups, and that's presented by Hot Shot Basketball as well. And you see the starting five for Nazareth. This is a group as well. We, we spoke about the depth that Stepanak has, Oliver, but a lot of guys here 
who on any given day can give you 20 points. Yeah, and Coach runs this kind of spread offense with driving kicks. gives him a lot of flexibility. Obviously, Halon is the anchor of the offense, but you can see guys like Rodgers and also Francis can step up and score in bunches for them, so watch out for that. This starting five is brought to you by Hot Shot Basketball. Our goal is to make basketball so much fun that your child has no choice but to fall in love. Join us for our first ever three-on-three tournament this Memorial Day weekend. Visit our website, hotshotbasketballnyc.com, to register your team today. Those are the starters for Nazareth. Now let's take a look at the starters for the defending champions from White Plains, the Crusaders from Archbishop Stepanak, who have a huge following here today from White Plains. And we mentioned Flans and Ritvo, obviously, in the open. Carbusia, his health has been a story, has been dealing with a groin injury, has worked his way and gotten better and better. He's about 75% today. Jordan Gabriel playing his best basketball in a Stepanak uniform, and look out for Josiah Jervis from beyond the arc. Maybe the best pure three-point shooter on the court today. Yeah, something to keep an eye on. Danny's obviously a table setter, great defender, and is super athletic, so the groin's a tough injury because you really can't heal it until you stop practicing and playing. He's got to gut it out. He said he went to uh, a treatment every day this week. Spoke to him this morning. He said he's going to do the best he can, so obviously something to keep an eye on. Inside that huddle, Pat Masseroni, a Stepanak guy through and through. You see there, 2006 graduate in his ninth season has really elevated this program to new heights. Our referees for today, Arnold Saunders, Carlos Martinez, and Brian Namorado. And our referees for today's game are brought to you by Crown Refs. Improve your officiating with Crown Refs, the ultimate resource for basketball officials. Explore their podcasts and daily videos on all social platforms and join the Crown Refs community. Simply go to patreon.com Crown Refs. Serve the game. Just about set here to go. As Nazareth and Stepanak set to tip off here. It's the 96th annual CHSAA Championship. And the opening tip goes to Stepanak. Boogie Fland hands off. And here comes Danny Carbusia. Nazareth, man to man. I love it. Bring in the bro, Bill Rafferty. Coach Raff, one of my favorites. Here's Fland, attacks the lane, switches hands, and he gets two. Good start for Stepanak. Love to see that from Coach. Boogie getting to the basket, getting two on the board for his team. We expect Nazareth to throw a lot of different looks Boogie's way today. Joseph Jennings is the key guy right now. That runner in the lane in and out, and the rebound will go to Stepanak. I like to start aggressive attacking the basket, uh, not selling for shots, so um, I think uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, Nazareth players trying to get to the basket. Fans still filing in, but good luck getting a seat at this point. Carpusia kicks it out. Here's Ritvo for three. Off the rim, no good. Loose ball rebound goes towards Nazareth, and there's... Elijah Witter handing off to Halon Rollins. They go baseline, up and under. No good by Tyler Francis. So Nazareth, two trips down the court, misses, and that's a miss by Fland, which allows Naz to get out and running. This second opportunity, no good. Third opportunity, offensive rebound. Tipped out will stay with Nazareth. This game too, Oliver, is a major contrast in styles. Nazareth, they want to play this game in the 50s. They want to run the shot clock. You see Gary Irvin put his hands out so often, the stop sign Control for his the team. Controlling the pace. On the other side, it is all go for Pat Masseroni's Crusaders. They want to play this game in the 80s. Yeah, you see that possession there. Little jitters. They had three good looks at it. Nothing could go down. Just got to see one go in if you're Nazareth. Tristan Rogers stepped on the sideline. So this will be 
Crusaders ball. There's a good look at Gary Irvin. Had a terrific conversation with both head coaches and their star players ahead of this game. Here's Flans, the runner in the lane. I think Blick Blue Nation and Coach Cal are going to love to see that. One, two dribbles, pull up, getting in the lane, knocking it down. And the thing you could say more often than not about Boogie Flan, he does not force things. Good defense by Jordan Gabriel on the denial. And here comes Flan just floating up court. The three by Carpusia. Off the rim, no good. Flan tries to chase it down, and he'll actually get called for a push as flying into those expensive seats which Tristan Rogers. And so far, Stepanak's doing a great job of moving the basketball. Riffo had an open three, good look, didn't go down. Danny just had a great three, didn't go down. Eventually, if you keep taking good shots, you'll see one of those drop. Irvin, the first to go to his bench, bringing in Jacob Roman. That energy guy was the leading scorer last year among the returning guys, and there it is. Elijah Witter attacks the glass. And he'll get two. Nice move by the 6'2 guard. Uh, gets about five points a game, but great first step. Used the body control. Kept the defender on his hip and finished at the rim. And that's the thing, too, Oliver. When you look up and down at the stat sheet for Nazareth, really, like, two guys stand out. And, and one of them, of course, Halon being the leading scorer as Ritvo attacks. But he's called for the charge. And Halon Rollins, the one drawing it. But you have a lot of guys at like 4.5, 5.5 points, points a game, but they're all so dangerous. Yeah, and if you watch film and you watch him play, you realize that he's kind of have an open offense, spread offense, and they really trust and make extra passes. So whoever gets the hot hand can go, and that's what makes him dangerous to guard. Rollin turns on Ritfo. What a jumper by Halon Rollins. That is next level offense. And that's why you're going to get schools like Oklahoma State and Seton Hall recruiting that kid. Yeah, still just a junior. Halon Rollins. Carbusia up top for Ritvo. Hands off. And Ritvo sets the screen for Boogie. Opens him up for three. Rims around. No good. And we go the other way. Rollins. Hands off. Attacking the rim. Witter. Back rim. No good. And we will go Stepanak's way. First four minutes, both teams trying to feel each other out like a boxing match. Just jabbing, jabbing, trying to get a feel. And then you see the team settle down and you see the scoring open. And to that point, Oliver, it's a unique game because neither have a frame of reference. Neither have played each other in the regular season. Last two championship games in this league, it was round four of a fight. There was no wondering what the other would do between Cardinal Hayes and Archbishop Stepanak the last two years. There's a lot of what is this going to look like because these two teams are on opposite sides and haven't played each other this year. Yeah, I was looking for the head-to-head -head matchup for our production meeting. I didn't see the Yeah, there. not How happening. Where's the <laughs> score? Anyway. Carbusia tries to attack. Goes off a Nazareth player and out. So the ball will stay with the Crusaders, who have eight on the shot clock. Good sign for Danny, too, trying to drive it, looking for a kick, so... That means he's moving okay. Yeah, Carbusi has been very limited at practice. There's a three by Flan, and it's good. I mean, one of the best shooters in the country. Uh, got to know where he's at. He's got half-court range when he gets into the gym. And now leaking out is Flan. Pulls up from three. Why not? In and out. That was a good look, though. Baseline, Jervis rejected by Rollins. Gabriel trying to rip it, and we'll have a jump ball. The possession will go to Nazareth. Seven already for Boogie Fland on three of six shooting. Gabriel is going to rebound and do all the dirty work, and if he can get his hands on a few balls and get some put back, it would be a huge contribution for his team. There's Rodgers, buries it. Beautiful setup call, a little fade screen, pick and pop. They had a little fade for the shooter, catches it, sets his feet, and knocks it down. Seven up here, midway through this first quarter. 
Carbusia, great defense by Rollins, but look at this, Gabriel finishing it off with his left. You see how he kept the ball high and the catch, it's huge for big guys. Keep it up high. Yeah, don't bring it left, down. Don't bring it down. Use the backboard, get yourself on the board. Great deuce. And the find by Danny, which is important. Witter, back up top to Rollins. Rodgers gets it to Roman. Attacks the rim, was stripped by Carbusia. And now Carbusia off and running. There's the extra pass, Ritfo, what a look inside. Gabriel fouled by Witter. That's a 6-7 point forward, making that pass to a cutter on the dime. Great heads up play by Braylon to get his man to the free throw line. Second foul by Elijah Witter, which sends Jordan Gabriel to the line. Gabriel, once upon a time, was playing his basketball at Mineola High School. And then last year, made the move up to White Plains. And Oliver, what was his first test in the Catholic League? Let's go to the Grand Concourse and play Hayes on the road. to open the season on a Friday night. Uh, he passed that test pretty well and got more comfortable with his surroundings and his teammates. And this year, an unquestioned starter and a real force inside for Stepanak as he will go one of two from the line. He's, and he's having, a help, he's, he's having an effect. He's affecting the game right now. He's on the backboard. He made a nice play, get, get some free throws. Coach now subs him out, gives him a breather. But great contribution early on in a big-time game. 10-7, the early lead for Stepanak. Here's Rollins, puts it on the deck. Rollins, up and under, doesn't get it. And there you see the bounciness of Halon Rollins. He grabs the rebound, but he steps out. But that's one of the things you've got to look out for him. I love the, I love the call by Gary. It's the isolation for his best play. He ripped it, went to the right, just didn't finish. But good sign. Carbusia into the game. He's wearing number 14. It's Dylan Perry as there's a hand check called. That's against Joseph Jennings. So Perry usually number 10, wearing number 14 today. And a guy who, too, freak accident in practice, kept him out of the quarterfinals game. And there's Ritfo. Barry in the triple. Pick and pop. Boogie and Braylon, deadly combination. You can't guard both. You got to choose your poison, and the big fella made him pay. Attacking inside was Achilles Desmengles, number 11. Would love to see a bounce pass in that situation. The air pass, sometimes the guy's hard to handle for bigs. If you bounce it, it kind of falls in your lap softly. And it's the difference between a layup and a turnover. And there's Carbusia. When he was out of the game against St. Francis Prep and he was subbed out, those bleachers behind there, there's a little bit of a hallway. And he was running up and down, just trying to stay loose, stay warm as there's a turnover for Stepanak and Nazareth come the other way. Des Mengels, and that's a foul on Carbusi. Tried to strip him, but got the arm, and it's Danny's first foul. A cousin, as Carbusi will go to the bench, of the great Felipe Lopez, who once upon a time played here against Kareem Reed in one of the more ex most exciting Catholic League Championship games. Two guys who later on played at St. John's in the McDonald's All-American game. Rollins from three. 6-6, six, six, showing his range, knocking down the outside shot. Got to guard him all over the floor, Dylan. Five early for Rollins. That's Caressi. Attacks the rim, in and out, roaming the rebounds. And if there is one thing we are seeing on this, the biggest stage in the city, it's that Nazareth, they've come to play. There's no nerves for these guys from Brooklyn, from East Flatbush, as the Kingsmen will maintain possession. And a lot of times, a basketball team has that identity of their head coach. And 
that's what Kyrie Irving is through and through. Let me tell you something. Brooklyn guards are tough. These kids are battle-tested. I had a kid play for me named Truck Bryant, was from Brooklyn, uh, was one of the top players in the city. Gary, you know, they follow his lead. These guys are going to compete, man, and you know that. When you play against a team from Brooklyn, they're going to bring it every day. This Mangles, what a look down low, and there's the young buck, Caden Francis. And he was fouled to the line. Caden Francis, just a sophomore. Gary Irvin thinks he could be that next special guy. And you saw the pick and roll. They hit it They hit it to the roll guy. I love the aggressiveness. He attacked the basket, challenged the defender, and drew the foul. Nice play by the young fella. And here is Caden to the line to shoot two. First one is good. He's got great size, Dylan. 6'8", long and lengthy, bouncy. They're still kind of figuring out his role this year, and that's fine because he's getting... Important minutes off the bench at 6'8", averaging about a little more than four points per game. Goes one of two from the line. Final 30 seconds here of this first quarter. Shot clock is off, and Caressi is harassed by Desmangles right in his grill. Referee Carlos Martinez with the count on, and now here comes Boogie Fland. Boogie. There's the look, wide open jumper for Jervis. Caressi attacks the rim, count it, and the foul. I love this kid, Dylan. All year long I've watched Stepanak play, and he's a, he's a kid that stands out to me because of how he plays. Right place, right time, knows for the ball, and uh, just gets there, gets a put back and one. Huge bucket here to end this uh, first quarter. Caressi. Good genes for him. Brother Suleiman played at Iona Prep, then went to Richmond, had a grad year at Radford. And Hassan just picked up his first Division One offer this year, St. Bonaventure. Still just a sophomore. 6.2 seconds left. Chance for Nazareth now to end this quarter, perhaps with a positive one. Here's Des Mengels. Rollins drives. Rollins won't get the shot off. Great defense by Stepanak to close out this opening quarter. Well, Stepanak, they threw the first punch. Nazareth got back in it. But Boogie, the look in the corner, and Ritvo buries it from beyond the arc. 16-11, Stepanak the lead after one. You're watching the Catholic Championships right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. This is Jalen Brunson, you're watching Varsity Media. Start of the second quarter here at the CHSAA AA intersectional final. And guys, if you spend one second in the Nazareth huddle, you notice the camaraderie. That's part of the culture that Gary Irvin has created in his time as head coach. And he's always challenging his players, uh, whether it's during gameplay or every day in practice. And one example was last year. Halon Rollins challenged Irvin to a one-on-one -on -one game, and the stakes were pretty clear. If Rollins won, Irvin had to take the team out to dinner at Brooklyn Chop House. If... Irvin won. The players had to pool the money and take the coaches out to dinner. Word got around the school. 60 kids flocked to the gym. And with money on the line, it was Gary Irvin who got the victory. But he says he brought his checkbook out today if his team wins. Guys, back to you. And Josiah Jervis trying to make sure that Naz doesn't make the Brooklyn Chop House this afternoon. Jervis with the triple. Super talented sophomore Dylan. Um, another kid that can come off uh, and get 15-20. Great size for him and comes in and bangs the three. He has elevated his game in this postseason. Des Mengel's three off the mark. Rollins, the rebound inside, misses the putback. But when you want pure shooters, 25 is your guy. Back rim on that one, though, no good. This allows Des Mengel's to push, and 
Perry called for the foul. Shot didn't go down there, but that was sophomore to sophomore for the three. Caressi and Jaze, and he missed the shot, but a little, little look at the future holds for Coach. Yeah, when Pat Maseroni says there's life after Boogie, <laughs> you can see why. Uh, a lot of really young, talented players among even that group of nine who returned last year. Yeah, no question, man. I mean, Josiah and Hassan will be two highly sought-after recruits. Carbusia will be a senior next year. Another one. Just talented, talented roster all, all throughout. There's Mengel's rejection from behind by Caressi. Great rotation step up. Uh, coaches got them all locked in playing the ball and doing a great job defensively. That's why they got a lead right now. I mean, nothing easy for Nazareth. Roman to inbound underneath. This is a Stepanak team that only gives up 62 points per game. They score, on average, 75.4. Coach Pat coming out with the uh, well, with the broom to fix the floor mop. Leading there. by example. Perhaps. Multi-talented. <laughs> perhaps harking back to his days as a Stepanak manager. Oh, boy. I know my buddy Billy. Back in Chicago right now watching this game. is a huge stepping act boosters laughing watching Pat sweep the floor. Shout out to my man Billy. So we'll have the inbound now, but we, we mentioned stepping act's defense, but listen, Nazareth's defense has been phenomenal this year too. They've only given up 54 points per game, but they score 62. So, so many tight games for the Kingsmen, and more often than not, they found themselves at the very top of those games. 14-2 and two in Brooklyn, Queens, to top the regular season for Nazareth in their first year in the double-A in 40 years. Here's Roman on the baseline. Guarded closely by Carbusia. Terrific defending by Carbusia. Jervis the other way. Hands it off to Fland. A little shake, a little bake, a little up and under. Boogie in the Bronx. And that's why he's so hard to guard, Dylan. He can make threes, beat you off the bounce, and get to the rim. So score all three levels. Boogie Flan getting to the basket. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. It's a 21-11 lead now for Stepanak. And when we talk about terrific guards in this great borough of the Bronx, we mentioned two of them before. Um, there's been a great lineage of guards, especially to play here. Here's a few of them, right? Kemba Walker at Rice. You've got a St. Ray's guy with two Rice guys on, the, on each side of him. But Kemba, of course, doing his thing for Mo Hicks at Rice. Felipe, a uh, tremendous player. And, of course, the best-kept secret himself, Karim Reed. You're talking about basketball royalty representing the Boogie Down Bronx. And Boogie Flan is the next in line from Yankee Stadium to Kentucky basketball. The future is bright for this young man. And he's right over there by Macomb, Brand, uh, Macomb Dan Park. Off the Grand Concourse, close to Yankee Stadium, close to Cardinal Hayes. Yep. But Cardinal Hayes got Ian Jackson and Archbishop Stepanak got Boogie Fland. And that was some incredible one-on-one. -on -one. Those guys are tight, they're boys. They played some incredible games the last couple years. Of course, Ian Jackson transferring out of Cardinal Hayes this year as Roman chases down that loose ball. Inside look, good bucket, and an important bucket as well for Tyler Francis. That comes off the timeout, but look at this. Jervis leaks down. Des Mengels gets the rejection. Good sign for Nazareth. If they're going to claw back in this game, somebody else has got to score besides Halon. So we need somebody else to step up uh, because uh, Stepanak is going to keep scoring. I know that. Another quick look. Good defense. So many times when you have that from behind swinging of the arm, it's a foul. Good body control there to make sure he got ball. Ritfo cuts it inside. Great look. Jervis pumps the brakes. Doesn't get it. Caressi, another offensive rebound for Hassan Caressi. This guy's like a Swiss Army knife of basketball. Does it all for Coach Pat and Stepanak. He's got five. The lead is ten. 
dangerous waters right now for Nazareth. They've had some wild up and down games in the quarters and the semifinals where they've had big leads. They've dealt with punches to the gut. This is a different level, though, as does Mengel's three off the mark. And Stepanak's doing a great job doing one and done, keeping Nazareth off the glass. Fland for three, and Caressi, another put back for the young guard. He's picking up all the garbage, and he's finishing. And before you know it, those plays add up, Dylan, and that's how you get to win. Huge, huge contribution by the sophomore. Largest lead so far for Stepanak as Rollins to the lane. What strength there by Halon Rollins. And it's a great individual effort, but if Nazareth is going to stay in this game, he's got to find help from somebody else. He just scored on three guys. They're going to start keying in on him. There's Flans at that zero in the A-10. Missed the jumper. And Rollins comes the other way. They're trying to get the pick and roll action going, but they're doing a good job of defending it. Rollins back rim on that three. Rebound goes to Ritvo. And here's Carbusia. Carbusia kicks it. Corner three. Caressi. Side rim. And the rebound ripped down by Tyler Francis. You feel like at this point, Oliver, this is an opportunity for Nazareth now to slice into their lead, into their deficit. Yeah, you got to look for something with Halen involved in it. Try to give them the ball where they uh, they can try to get a score. They go to that flare play again. This time he misses. Miss three. Rebound goes to Jervis. Here's Carpusia. Strong to the hoop for Danny Carpusia. Great sign for Coach Pat. Burst of speed. Got to the basket. Finished. And uh, stepping back and separating right now, Dylan. 30-second timeout called by... Pat Masseroni and listen March Madness is upon us right a lot of conference tournaments coming up and a lot of guys currently playing next level basketball let's take a look at some of those guys now Oliver and certainly some familiar names RJ Davis looking like the player of the year down in North Carolina Joe Toussaint out of Cardinal Hayes winning a championship on this court Tombe Iwaka was the player of the year the Gatorade player of the year his Balls just losing to Kentucky. Joel Soriano, St. John's, part of that resurgence. And Tyson Walker, Michigan State. Those are some of the names, those current guys playing high-level basketball in Division One. And if you, if you didn't think about New York City basketball and the points of the Catholic League, that just shows you right there, the best players in the country playing for the top coaches in the country. And March Man is going to be filled with New York City Catholic League guys. 12-point lead for the defending Catholic League champions in Stepanak. Nazareth, as we detailed in our open, they've played for the A championship the last two years. In fact, they went 26-0 coming here to the Bronx on that Friday night in March as Joseph shot went front rim no good. They were upset by Monsignor Farrell. They lost in the A championship year in back-to-back -back years. Carbusia for three, no good. Gabriel, the rebound. Kick it out. Oh, look at this. Inside, Caressi misses the bunny. A little too quick. Had a defender to challenge it and affected the shot. Nazareth dodged the bullet there. Elbow jumper, a good one by Elijah Witter. Yeah, we need to see more of that. He's a senior, 6'2 guard. Averages about five points a game, but he can he can he can give coach a lift and get him back in this game, Dylan. Flans, as we said, different looks at him. That shot off the mark. Another offensive rebound. Ritvo from three. It's good. I mean, that kid's automatic. Six seven three wing that can shoot it. I know Coach Pakora Quinnipiac is going to be excited to coach that man, young man next year. You've got six different guys so far to score the basketball for Stepanak. That's a great formula for success, Dylan. We don't have to just rely on one guy. And another triple will go back to back for Elijah Witter. Witter's starting to feel it now. If I'm coach, next play now, I'm making sure he gets another shot. 
Just try to get some, some guys going. Nazareth, a team that knocked down 10 triples. Look at Boogie. Lost his defender and then a foul over the back by Gabriel. I think Boogie was even surprised at how open he was. Yeah, I'd rather him shoot it right away than to take the pause and, like, I can't believe I'm so wide open and then shoot it. So, um, as a shooter, man, it's rhythm. You know, just want to catch and shoot. At uh, that time, off a little bit. Too much time on his hands. You would think the rebounding numbers would be heavily slanted towards Stepanak, but in fact, they're only a plus one in the glass right now. Well, Nazareth's athletic. they got a lot of guys that can go get it, so they're battling right now. They just can't get anything to drop down. There's Witter inside Rollins. They surround them. Rollins, the strength, gets his own rebounds. Into the corner. That's a triple off the mark. Same team there. Gabriel tries to save it off of Jennings, and Ritfo comes away. And Jennings feeling that ball that was fired off him down low. Caressi! What a pretty find by Boogie Flan to the man. Caressi's having a one hell of a ball game so far in this first half, Dylan. And Jennings still trying to get his breath. I think he got the wind knocked out of him with that ball into his stomach. He'll get the look underneath, the up and under. And Great ball fake by Jennings to make sure that the defender flew by him and got the easy deuce. Nazareth's hanging around. They just got to get a stop here. Maybe get one more basket or get a stop going to halftime down 10. Not a bad position for uh, the first half of them. And I think we'll see the Crusaders here hold for the last. Here's Ritvo to Caressi with 11 seconds left. There's Boogie. Flans up and under. Flans short. And you're right. Here comes Rollins with a chance. Naz has numbers. Layup. Good! Are you kidding me? 6-6. Six, six forward, handling the break, bounce pass to the cover at the buzzer. Huge basket for Nazareth going into the locker room. Got to feel good about yourself. We're down eight. We didn't shoot a great Dylan, and we're still in this ball game. That was Tristan Rogers getting to the cup as he cuts his team's deficit now to 32 to 24. We send it down courtside where John Perez has Pat Masseroni. Pat, it looked like there was a foul call under there. What was the explanation they gave you? Next question. All right. Um, six different scorers in that first half. What did you think about the ball movement? Yeah, I mean, I told our guys, I told you guys the other day, I told you on the call, if we share the ball with one of the best teams in the country and then we start guarding like that and hold them to 24 points, um, they're tough, they're physical. We knew they were going to face guard Boogie. They're not even letting him breathe. So we put him in some actions to make sure that he, you know, he was a screener as well. Uh, but the fact that we have balanced scoring, that's what we're looking for night in and night out. What do you want to see out of the team in the second half? No, we got a guard. You know they're going to make a run. You know they're going to try to pressure us a little bit. We got a guard. We got to make sure we get great shots and then rebound. I mean, that rebound by Braylon right there was big time. Haas is crashing the boards on the offensive end. We got to rebound and continue to share the ball. Know that 16 minutes is a lot, a lot of time left. All right, thanks, thanks Pat. Sean. Guys, we'll send it back up to you. Thanks, John. Thanks, Pat, as well. Halftime here of the Catholic AA Championship, the 96th edition. And it's Archbishop Stepanak with a 32-24 lead. We'll have some halftime stats and more coming up next right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. My name is Grant Vermeer, a member of the Crown Refs community. My first year as a high school official, that's when I found out about the Crown Refs community. Having my military background, I love being a part of teams. I want to be a part of a group that has high standards, that holds each other accountable, but also supports and loves each other, and has a desire for everyone in the group to grow. If you're a young referee or someone who loves refereeing and wants to be a part of a group, this is an amazing community for you. I feel like I've gotten better as an official. I've had a community and friends and support through this process, which can otherwise be a little bit lonely as you're on the road a lot. The culture is amazing in here. Make sure to come check it out. Welcome to Supreme Hoops Basketball Training in the heart of Queens, New York, where passion meets performance. Are you ready to evaluate your game and unleash your true potential? 
At Supreme Hoops, we're not just about basketball, we're about results. Our experienced coaches are dedicated to taking your skills to the next level. Whether you thrive at group sessions or prefer the personalized attention of one-on-one -on -one coaching, Supreme Hoops has you covered. Let's get to work. Book your session today at supremehoopstraining.com. Hey, sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Hey parents, how about a bobblehead for your athlete? Bobbleheads are one of the most preferred personalized gift items today, and it's so easy to order. All you need is a photo of your athlete, a model number from our extensive collection of bobbleheads, and the sculpting process begins. Two proofs are sent for your approval, and once it's approved, in a few weeks, your bobblehead is on the way. It's that simple. Order your bobblehead today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or call 516 403 2050. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Feel like your game film is too stagnant and not providing you with the insight that your coaches had hoped for? Varsity Media offers game film to help your coaches develop a game plan to execute on game day. Our current clients love the Varsity Media difference, which includes more insightful camera angles and a speedy upload process. Start building your championship team today with award-winning individuals at Varsity Media. Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium here in the Bronx. Dylan Butler, Oliver Antigua, our entire Varsity Media crew with you. It's halftime of the Catholic AA Intersectional Championship, and it's Stepanak with a 32-24 to 24 lead. And Oliver, let's take a look at some of the first-half stats here. And you can see rebounding dead even. Stepanak in the semifinals, that number of assists was 20. So... Good start there with the plus three and the assists. And you see right now, neither team may be shooting it particularly well, right? You've got Nazareth shooting at 34% and 40% from Stepanak. But one interesting note, Boogie Flans, four of 12 from the field, one of seven from three. Stepanak as a team shooting 25% from beyond the arc. Yeah, so what, what, what needs to happen at halftime is to have a conversation, look, if your outside shot's not dropping, mix it up, go to the floater, go to the drives, look to pass the ball more, get some assists, get some guys going. You got an eight-point lead, you're not shooting great, a couple of those shots go down, then you separate yourself and get a little more space. And pretty balanced scoring as well for Nazareth, Halon Rollins and Elijah Witter. With seven points apiece, five for Tristan Rogers on the other side. It's Caressi with nine, Boogie with nine as well. Well, let's take a look, Oliver, at some of the all-league teams this year, and we will go back to front with this. So we'll take a look at the third team all-league in the AA, and there you see Danny Carbusia up top. Big O for St. Francis Prep, Osman Asako. One thing that I think strikes you here, yes, Jacob Moreno from Holy Cross, he's a senior, but all of those guys underclassmen. Yeah, future's bright. Uh, love Sako. Sky's the limit for him. Stat sheet stuffer. And obviously Danny, one of the tough point guards. Plays for the Dominican national team. Uh, 
future's bright for the Catholic League there. Let's take a look at the second team now and see Josh Powell, Adam Enjai. Maybe not a quicker card in New York than Enjai. Veer Anthony, hard nose guard for St. Francis Prep. Ty Turnage bringing that pedigree as well, right? The son of a coach, Billy Turnage, the head coach now of Holy Cross. There's Nazir Rodriguez. The definition of toughness, I think, for Scanlon and Lucas Marillo as well. But Rodriguez, what an outstanding senior season. And love Veer Anthony, love Murillo's size and his uh, scoring ability for prep. And you got to give a shout out to Ty Turnage because he's one of the little guys out there on the floor. And he, he, night out, night out, goes and competes against the top of the league. And just a great shooter and uh, does all the right things. And, you know, obviously had a tough loss, but those guys will be back next year for sure and be one of the favorites next year. And how about this first team right here? Brandon Stores, his second consecutive all-league first team appearance just recently committing to Georgia Tech so congratulations to Brandon Stores on that. Dwayne Pierce we know he's going to Iowa State as well. Hampered unfortunately with an injury. Halon Rollins in this game as is Braylon Ritvo. Kadir Martin man just bringing it really representing Staten Island there and Kid Fong Pong as well. Such a versatile uh, big for Christ the King. Yeah shout out to my man coach Arbatello Christ the King who's uh, one of the best in the business and the class act to have two guys there. And Look at this guy, Pat Masseroni. Listen, it, it, there's quite a debate, right? And listen, I'm on the record for saying I thought Gary Irvin should have been the coach of the year because in his first year, bringing Nazareth to the level that they reached. But I'm with you off camera. We said, why not have a co-coach? Because this is a perfect year for it. Pat Masseroni didn't lose a league game this year. Uh, so I think both guys deserving of that honor. Absolutely, and it's hard to do, man. You know, when you got such great talent, players and coaches, sometimes not everybody can uh, be recognized for the great year, but both these gentlemen deserve their flowers. Gary Irving, phenomenal job moving up to the A, getting his kids to play as hard as anybody. But when you have the favorite and you have the bullseye on your back, that's not easy to do. And Coach Pat navigated those waters. There's, you know, 15 coaches in the stands that every game know better than the guy who's with the guys every day. And sometimes you got to let the coach coach and do a great job. And there is your most valuable player in the Catholic League this year. And those are terrific honors there for Boogie Flan. There is uh, quite a lineage, even just recent history, right? You had uh, last year it going to Pascarelli from St. Francis Prep. The year before that, Tobey Awaka. Cardinal Hayes with Boogie Flan well deserving of an honor that so many people thought he should have had at the start of the year and he and he, and he lived up to the hype around him and, and had a terrific senior season and if I'm Boogie Flan I watched Kentucky beat Tennessee yesterday and see Reese Shepard go for 27 I can't wait to get to Kentucky and let coach Cal let me get those keys to that offense so maybe we might see in the near future a little bit of Boogie and Tobey Awaka again reunited, bringing back that great Cardinal Hayes rivalry with Stepanak. Take a quick break, have the start of the third quarter when we return right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcers' storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, 
instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium. Dylan Butler, Oliver Antigua, our entire Varsity Media crew here. Start of the second half about to begin. Let's send it down to the third member of our broadcast team, John Perez, for a little bit more about what Nazareth had to discuss there at halftime. I just spoke to Gary Irvin as he was coming out of the tunnel, and he said it's pretty simple. It's just effort and energy. Nazareth was out-rebounded by 10 on the glass, and he said that that's just not going to get it done. So he wants to uh, make sure that the team is rebounding, get some turnovers, and whatever you can, get in front of Boogie Flan. Guys, back to you. Thanks, John. And, yeah, energy and effort, those were the, uh, that's the mantra postseason for Nazareth as Gary Irvin. Listen, he's a guy who loves watching film when we – had our production meeting with him. They were watching film over there at Nazareth, but I uh, said, listen, a lot of the X's and O's goes out the window in the postseason. It's about energy and it's about effort. Yeah, and the fact that these guys haven't played each other this year, they're probably feeling each other out, checking the speed on the floor, how quick guys are, how physical guys are. And uh, if you rebound the ball, you can get on the break. And I think uh, Nazareth needs to try to get some transition baskets to get back in this game. Good call there by our official Arnold Saunders calling the kickball on Ritvo, so it'll be an inbound. And here's Rollins taking on Ritvo. Good defense by Ritvo, and Rollins has to get out. Now we'll set the screen. Attacking the rim, high off glass, no good. And here comes Stepanak. They want to get out, they want to run. Ritvo for three. Off the mark, Gabriel, good boxing out of him. And now Naz looks to push. One more, great look. Rollins for three, in and out. How does that not go in? And now Carbusia brings it down. Stepanak head coach Pat Maseroni has pretty finger roll by Carbusia. They had a stagger screen on the weak side to occupy the defense. Danny sees the opening, hits it. Great drive and finish with the kiss. Pat Maseroni said it was difficult this year because last year, all year, every practice. At some point, how about the N1 from the baseline? JoJo Jennings. And the foul on Carbusia. Yeah, Jennings can score, man. We got to see him be a little more aggressive. Uh, try to get um, another person that can try to give some some assistance to Halon. And Jennings knocks down the free throw for the three point play. But Masseroni said all last year, every practice was like, "Hey guys, remember how Cardinal Hayes crushed us in the championship game, and that was their motivation." And now what do you t tell guys? You've been in that room. You know what it is like as a defending champion. It's, it's not easy to, to light that fire all the time. We always say in coaching, you have to learn how to lose with your guys first before you can win. And Coach lost last year and he used that to motivate himself. Well, two years ago, yeah, and then and got the win last year. And in a, in a weird COVID kind of angle here. The championship game now in its third different location as Boogie Flan from the corner. And that's off the mark. Tough shooting day for Flan so far and an opportunity on transition. Good defense by Carbusia making Rodgers bring it back out. Yeah, He needs to shot fake as Nazareth is flying at him when he goes to shoot. Shot faking on the ground making another play. But two years ago this championship game was at Hofstra with all the COVID closures. Now Boogie. Rollins! Get out of here! Woo! What a rejection. Great body control. Didn't foul. Timed it up. No, sir. Not on my watch. Last year, this championship game played at St. John's University. And this year, it's great that it's back in the Bronx. Where it should be here at Rose Hill Gymnasium. Jervis, here's Ritvo. On a mismatch. 
He did have the size advantage. Tap back off that rebound miss, and here comes Rollins. In front of his own bench, the triple buried it. You go from defense to offense for Halon Rollins. And now Nazareth feeling it. They're within four. He's the guy that can get him back in this game. Showing it on all levels, Dylan. Big time performance by the junior from Flatbush. Big crowd from Naz Nation making their way from East Flatbush. Chance of defense. Here's Carbusia. Kicks it. A little shake and bake. A little baseline jumper is good. Josiah Jervis. Pretty move by the sophomore with a pull up. Hey, we're heating up here in the Bronx now. Triple is good by Tristan Rogers. Now both teams are settling down. They can feel it. It's third quarter crunch time. Win or go home, baby. Love it. Three point game. Fland, again, different looks his way. Carbusia. Kicks it out. Ritfo, the long distance three off the mark. And the rebounds grabbed by Rodgers. And here comes Naz. Witter tucks it under. Gets to the hoop. If I'm coach, I think I want to time out and talk about it. Correction. Settle my, guys, settle my guys down. That was Jennings tucking it under. And there is the aforementioned timeout by Stepanak. The Crusaders' lead is now down to one. 3.53 left. Great one in the Bronx, right here in the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Welcome to Supreme Hoops basketball training in the heart of Queens, New York, where passion meets performance. Are you ready to evaluate your game and unleash your true potential? At Supreme Hoops, we're not just about basketball, we're about results. Our experienced coaches are dedicated to taking your skills to the next level. Whether you thrive at group sessions or prefer the personalized attention of one-on-one -on -one coaching, Supreme Hoops has you covered. Let's get to work. Book your session today at supremehoopstraining.com. Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium. Dylan Butler, Oliver Antigua, and you've been in huddles like this a lot before. In here, in this gym as well, what... There's a little bit of that conversation Pat Masseroni's having with his guys. Well, if I'm Pat, I'm telling guys, we're shooting too many threes right now. They're getting back in the game. Let's attack the basket, move the basketball, make them play defense. And they're getting hot from the perimeter, so we got to make sure we sprint back and match up. Their transitions baskets have come because Stepanek's half-court defense wasn't set up. Largest lead was 13 for Stepanak. It's down to one precious point, midway point of this third quarter. You can really tell what Coach wants right now by what he calls coming out of this timeout. So let's see who we call, whose number he calls here, Dylan. And now you've got Boogie Flang guarded by Rogers. Ritfo up top to Boogie. Good first step. Creates that separation, and there's the jumper. And that's what you do, man. When you got a star player, McDonald's All-American, you need a basket, call his number. And there you saw Mom loving what she saw there. Yeah, Kima's a great man. She's been uh, supporting him, him and his dad. Uh, Co-parenting did a great job of really uh, giving him what he needs, man, and uh, really proud of him and what he's able to do. Rollins the double his way, open three, around the rim and out. Another good look for Elijah Witter. Here's Caressi, kind of that X factor today, Caressi. Ritfo attacks it, counted and the foul! Braylon Ritfo! And if you notice, he would have shot the three, but because of the timeout, coach says, listen, let's drive the ball to the basket. And that's what you're going to see right here. Here's the kick by Caressi. There's Braylon. He would have shot it, but no. Ball fake. Drive it. Body contact with the pretty scoop and finish. His future college coach sitting right there courtside to see Ritfo doing his thing. Completes coach, the three-point play. Coach Pecora, first time ever. MAC championship. 23-8. and eight. Well, regular season. They won the regular season. Yep. 15-5 and five and the number one seed in Atlantic City. Congratulations to Coach. Got a contract extension. 
great supporter of the Catholic League. The guy from Queens Village cut his teeth as an assistant at Hofstra. Went from Hofstra to Fordham, now at Quinnipiac. Comes from the J. Wright coaching tree, which is a pretty good one, Dylan. It is. It is. Big stop here for Nazareth. Got a guard, make, make a tough shot. Different look defensively now, too, Oliver. They're switching. Switching screens. Flan, step back, three. Yeah, he starts getting hot. It's going to be difficult for Nazareth to win this game. Winner, count that in the foul. Great body control, drove it. You saw the help. He kind of slid it away from the defense, get the contact, and finish. Big time basket. Hey, there's other ways you can get three point plays, right? Here's Elijah Witter. Look at the body control, takes on the hit, has the feel to keep his eye on the rim, acrobatic finish as he's falling, and gets to the line for the old school three point play. Witter, nine points, four rebounds, and a couple of assists to make it 10 now. Double figure scoring in the Catholic League championship game. Nazareth hanging around, not going away, Dylan. Here's Boogie and good spacing now, Stepanak, and some off ball movement. There's Caressi, gets it to Carbusia, attacks the rim. Good look inside for Caressi. Assist by Danny, the young sophomore Caressi with the beautiful catch and finish. 11 now for Caressi. I love him. I think he's going to be spectacular. As by the time he gets to senior year. Baseline jumper, no good. Here's Carbusia. Seton Hall among his suitors. Dayton, Xavier as well. Lost it on the way in. Here's Rollins, checks the rear view. Halon. Roman. And now he'll attack. Roman off the glass, and we'll have an over-the-back foul called on Halon Rollins. Good defense, walled up, make him make a tough shot, didn't foul, and uh, that's, how you, um, that's how you draw it up. Second on Rollins. Final minute of this third quarter. And that lead that was once won, now back up and could pe perhaps be double figures on a make here by Stepanak. Got to give Nazareth a lot of credit for taking the stand and getting back in this ball game. Flans. It's Roman on him. Caressi coming out. And as you mentioned, right, throw different looks at Flans all game long. Jervis up and under. Beautiful finish by the sophomore. Nazareth uh, gambling a little bit, a little running jump, trying to trap. And... Uh, Stepping back, moving the ball quickly, found the open guy. Ten-point lead. Rollins thought about the long-distance three, and Boogie thought about the steal. Be careful with the ball. Did you see Coach Pat move on the sideline over there? Woo! He's got some speed left in him, Dylan. I thought he was going to blow a hammy the other day, running down the sideline, trying to get a timeout called. Listen. You, got, you, got, you have that great train. You got Lucy over there. They'll take care of all those stepping out guys. She does an incredible job with them. I'm just trying to get Pat to take me out to Wingfoot to play golf, you know, with him and his buddy Billy, but I can't get him to come. I can't get him to call me, Dylan. I don't know what's going on. So those days, he looks at his phone and goes, no, 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 I'm not picking <laughs> this call up. Yeah, he knows why I'm calling. <laughs> when it's nice in the coming days. Nine seconds, attacking the rim, off the mark. Good chance here now for Stepanak with four. Caressi's got it. Caressi to the hoop. Roman guarding him. Good defense by Jesse Roman to make sure that the Stepanak lead does not get any higher than 10 through 3. Archbishop Stepanak, they are the defending champions. Boogie Flans wants one more before he heads to Lexington. Little shake, little bake, and the triple for Boogie. 
stepping out. 10 point lead through three. You're watching the Catholic League Championship game on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Welcome to Supreme Hoops basketball training in the heart of Queens, New York, where passion meets performance. Are you ready to evaluate your game and unleash your true potential? At Supreme Hoops, we're not just about basketball, we're about results. Our experienced coaches are dedicated to taking your skills to the next level. Whether you thrive at group sessions or prefer the personalized attention of one-on-one -on -one coaching, Supreme Hoops has you covered. Let's get to work. Book your session today at supremehoopstraining.com. Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium, start of the fourth quarter, Stepanak with a 10-point lead. And guys, we talk so much about Boogie Flanagan. What makes him unique, to say the least, is how he balances his competitiveness with his willingness to grow as a player. As part of Stepanak, PSA, brief stint with Team USA, Flan went up against some of the best players in the nation. He's a student of the game and uses those games and tryouts to learn from other five-star prospects and level set where he is himself as a basketball player. And, of course, it's only natural to want to compete against top talent in the country. But it's Flan's open mind that made him the best of the best. Guys, back to you. Thanks, John. And to add to that point, you know, early on, maybe Boogie got caught up in a little bit of the hype, Oliver, and the battles with Ian Jackson and and making USA basketball and, and, and his ranking. And he's matured so much as a basketball player over these past four years. And he really has. And, you know, to be able to get to USA basketball is a huge honor. Just means you want to top in the country. And... Um, Hard work pays off. What a great young man. We got a chance to talk to him and his coach earlier uh, before the game. And level-headed, senior leader, veteran on the team, open-minded, talked about how the young guys are, just, are as important to lead and speak up when things don't go wrong to the seniors and how him and Braylon kind of lead by example. Uh, and there's a reason why they are a few, uh, few minutes away from uh, – winning this championship and we look inside that huddle there for for Nazareth and that's we mentioned it before right Gary Irvin back-to-back -back trips when he played at Robeson to the to the garden lost his senior year to Lincoln and Sebastian Telfair went on and played at Mississippi State and Arkansas as well had a pro career that took him to Venezuela Australia Ukraine France as well Tiny Morton the former all-time great at Lincoln a mentor of his, and uh, now we're seeing him become one of the better young coaches, certainly in this league. Yeah, when I coached at St. Raymond's, uh, coach was playing at Robeson, and he was a tough competitor and one of the best guards in the city. So his teams are going to reflect that. The future's bright at Nazareth, and there's no doubt that Nazareth will be a, a steady appearance here at the Catholic League Finals years to come. Halon Rollins and Boogie Flan both get fouls. They were jockeying for position on the baseline, so both of them pick up I, fouls. I don't like that call because the ref saw the first foul. Call the first one. You know, the, 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 like the double foul is like the, the neutral way out, you know? And I think especially when you consider, you know, these are your two marquee guys, right? So let's just let these guys figure things out. And that's one thing, too, that Pat Masseroni thought leading into this, thought that Nazareth brings a certain level of physicality. Now, that wasn't the case on that play, but just generally brings the physicality and kind of thought that this officiating crew would let both teams play physically. There's Rollins from three, in and out, tap back, rebound, little volleyball action off the backboard, no good. Rollins nearly picking up another foul but it will go to Stepanak. And that's what makes Nazareth tough. You know, they follow their, their, their leader, their coach. He, has that, he was like that as a player, and his team represents that characteristic, which is what you want. You want to be a tough defensive team in order to try to win a championship. And he's cut from a little bit of a different cloth. So many of the Catholic League coaches, as Boogie Flan steps back for a triple. Boogie knows what quarter it is, that is for sure. It's money time, baby. Yeah. Money time. Witter to Rogers. 
Back out, Halon. Well off there. Ball bounces around. Pinballs to Boogie. But the point I was making before was, you know, some a lot of these guys, they are products of the Catholic League. They were an assistant, went on, head coach. Corner three, Jervis, maybe a dagger here. Look at this. Josiah Jervis, his that, second triple of this game. That play was set up by the penetration of Carbusia. Great find. Jarvis squint the puppies, knock it down. Big time three from the sophomore. But Irvin, a guy, played in the PSAL and high-level AU coach as well. Tough jumper by Witter off the mark. And the jungle getting excited, and they should. Jervis count it! And the foul! Stepanak is really passing the ball well. All phases of the game. Braylon leading the break, a 6-7 forward, going to Quinnipiac with a beautiful pass to Jarvis for the and one. So Jarvis looking to complete the three-point play, already double-digit score, 12 points on this afternoon, seven rebounds as well. Front rim on that. The lead now 18 for Stepanak. It is their largest of this game. Yeah, he's got to go now. If he doesn't start scoring, it's going to be lights out for Nazareth. Roman. Too strong. Rollins misses the putback. Loose ball on the court. We'll have a jump. We will, and it will be Nazareth ball. Now, here's part of the problem, I think, Oliver. For a team that likes to slow the game now, now you've got to play faster, and that's exactly how Stepanak wants to play. Sure, and, you know, when, you, when you're used to grinding it out and now you're down by 18, now you've got to play quicker. You've got to take shots faster in the shot clock, and um, this can get away from you if you're not used to uh, playing this way. So a discussion at the table, Arnold, Arnold Saunders with both head coaches about the possession arrow, stays there with Nazareth. I thought he was asking Pat, where is he having dinner from, uh, after the game? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Pat's going to, if he'll be a Pines guy tonight or he'll be out, on, out here on Arthur Avenue, foul on the inbound on Caressi. Yeah, he's a White Plains guy. He's probably going to go up in the uh, nice suburbs of Stepanak. I'm sure he's got a couple guys that would like to. Well, he wins this game. I don't think he's paying for dinner. I agree. <laughs> Here's this Mengels up top. Rollins, a much-needed three off the mark twice. Tough miss for Halon. Yeah, and that's what happens, man. You know, um, you get down. You, get, you, know, you know you need points in a hurry, and um, Stepanak just plays solid defense here. I think they're going to be in great shape. Ritfo off the mark. Jennings the rebound. Leaking out is Roman. Attacks Ritfo. Gets the bucket. So Roman with the bucket. And Nazareth looking for some defense. Here down the stretch, trying to, again, slice into their deficit, which is 16 right now with 4.35 left here in this fourth quarter of the Catholic AA championship game. And defense is something that we've seen a lot of. And, in fact, it's our military standard. Cleaning play of the game. If you're looking to get your cleaning concerns resolved, call military standard cleaning. They clean with Precision, And we bring you back, Oliver, to a big defensive play by the Kingsmen. Yeah, and right here uh, in transition, you see uh, a great block here timing by Halon there, not to foul, uh, showing his athleticism, showing his uh, versatility. And that's the military standard cleaning play of the game. Naz looking for a little more of that, Oliver, down the stretch. They got to get going in a hurry, man. It's 4.30 left. You're down 16. You just got a basket. You got to get some stops. Turn Transition very quickly 
And you don't have to shoot threes, but you got to get twos quickly, and you're still going to need some threes uh, to sprinkle in because 16 is a lot. You mentioned their survive and advance mentality uh, here on this court in the court of finals, and they do try to press. Look how quickly Stepanak gets out, and now a wise decision by Ritvo to bring it back out. And now the roles are reversed, Oliver. Now it's Stepanak looking to utilize that shot clock and Nazareth obviously trying to speed things up. It's good defense by Roman getting the strip. Here comes Des Mengels ahead of the field. Blocked by Boogie, but we're going to count that. It was in the cylinder, so a goaltending violation. Great, great stop out of the timeout. Coming out of here, getting a steal. Um, they didn't get it, you know. Got to keep putting one or two of those together and get three or four in a row. Naz, out of necessity, picking up full court. Yeah, so stepping actually has got to be patient. Jumper by Caressi. He is so good, man. I'm telling you. Love his upside. And if I'm a college coach, I want that kid on my team. 13 for Caressi. Rollins to Roman. Wide open is Halon Rollins for three. Side rim, no good. Fortunate rebound. Here's Jennings. He'll go cross court. The extra pass. Another three, and Rodgers buries it. Big time three. They needed that. Keeps him in striking distance here. You see a little full court pressure to try to get him to turn it over and speed up, stepping out. 11 by Rodgers. Bounce pass. Ooh, I thought an extra step, and yes, it was called. Caressi. With and, the happy feet. And Pat's yelling at him because he doesn't need to score right now. He needs the clock to go down. So he's telling him, bring it out on the press. Don't speed up. Des Mangles across midcourt with 3.11 left in this fourth quarter. Does Nazareth have another run in them? Stolen by Caressi. So he makes up for that one and does the wise maneuver by getting it to your best player. <laughs> and now your floor general. And the senior does what coach wants, settles him down, avoids the double team, and just spread it out. Wind his clock down. Flans tried to draw a foul on that hit. Now he'll attack. Flans. Ooh, and a late foul given, and it's against Halon Rollins. And it's the right call. The veteran official wanted to make sure that the play finished before he drew the foul. So he had it, and even though he didn't call it right away, he made sure he blew the whistle. And it's the fourth foul on Halon Rollins, which will send Boogie to the line, a place that he has excelled this year and a place that we've not seen him this game. Usually so good at drawing fouls and getting to the foul line. Look at, look at that number there from the foul line, 84%. And if your port point guard can shoot 84% as a coach, you're putting the ball in his hands in the end of games to take you home. So first free throws. And the first is good. Dylan asked his mom what's his favorite meal. She said homemade mashed potatoes and steak. <laughs> and favorite artist is Little Dirk. So, Big Blue Nation, okay. hope you got a nice uh, mashed potato place out there to make sure you get some of that food when he gets there to Lexington. One of two for Flans. The lead is 14. Caressi, more defense. And Pat Maseroni sprinting to midcourt. I thought he was going to dive on the loose ball. I'm saying. F full timeout. We'll take it with him as well. 2.33 left, fourth quarter. Can Stepanak close it out? We'll find out next in the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Hey, sports fans. Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcers' storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today. 516 403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium. Dylan Butler, Oliver, Antigua here and 
the song, Oliver. They say, welcome to my house. And this has been Stepanak's house these last five years. Remarkable to think in a Catholic league with so many different teams and that can get to the championship game. Look at this graphic here. Five straight appearances. I went back in the, in the history books. I went back to the 40s. Power Memorial in the 60s. They had four straight. Stepanak, five right now, and Joe Bartello is Christ the King. It's remarkable to think in this day and age, they've made it six consecutive times as well. But that just speaks to how difficult it is in this league. They have become the blue bloods of the Catholic League, Christ the King and Stepanak. Amazing job by Coach Pat and the staff. To be able to be consistently that good is not easy to do. Take away the head of the snake is what Gary Irvin said about Boogie Flans. Which is difficult to do because Boogie Flans is so unselfish. Now Caressi does have to shoot it, and he buries it. He is in his bag, young man. Short game, pull up, offensive rebound, slashes, whatever it takes. Rollins getting to the hoop and getting fouled by Ritvo. Caressi's having a coming out party, Dylan. Yeah, 15 and 7 for Caressi. In kind of an important game. <laughs> you, I think you would say that, sure. If you don't win this game, you don't play again as Rollins knocks down his first free throw. And it has just been announced that the Catholic League and the PSAL are banding together and, and having a, a true city championship. It's uh, great that the leadership of both organizations, uh, they're doing this uh, with the Federation Championship sadly going away. It's a chance to see these great teams. And I remember seeing all these great teams, whether it was Lens Falls or whether it was Albany, uh, not many other were, were with me watching it. Now you're going to get a true city crowd uh, to watch the best of the PSAL against the best of the Catholic League later this month. Baseline, Ritfo. Boogie says, give me the rock, coach. I'm taking this home, the beautiful dish. And now we got 125 left, Dylan. And Jennings to the hoop. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them as well. 125 left in this, the 96th edition of the Catholic League Championship right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's premier high school sports network. Looking to grow your business on social media? Let Varsity Media help you. With over 50,000 followers across our platform, sponsor a segment during the broadcast and share it on social media the next day. It's the best of both worlds as you'll get thousands of plays and your ad will live on the broadcast forever. Contact us today for sponsorship packages by calling 917-470-0864 or emailing varsitymediasponsors at gmail.com. Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium. Dylan Butler, Oliver Antigua, our entire Varsity Media crew here for the Catholic League Championship game, which now has a minute 25 left in regulation time. And Stepanak trying to go back to back in their fifth consecutive appearance in this, the Catholic League Championship. I'll tell you, if coach takes care of business, that gets them to number three city titles, and he's in uh, rare air in terms of company of guys that won three. Caressi doubled at midcourt, and that head coach you just referenced, Pat Masseroni, he will call a timeout. It is a 30-second timeout, and you mentioned some of the championship history, but let's take a look, Oliver. We'll go back in time a little bit. Here are your previous 10 Catholic League champions. We made sure to make it an even 10 because we want to get 2012 in there for you. Because <laughs> that's when your Ravens um, won on this court, beating Holy Cross. Listen, Stepanak, Cardinal Hayes, Christ the King, Severian, all the great programs in New York City, and which makes our league really one of the best in the country and why we do so well. Well-coached teams, great competition, and you can see it when they get to college and beyond. 
When Stepanak beat Christ the King in 2018, they won that game by nine. It was their first double-A championship since 1960 when they beat Chaminade. And as we've said, now it's a regular occurrence in this game. They won it in 2023, of course, beating Cardinal Hayes in that game. Boogie Flans went off for 30 as we approach the final minute now of regulation. And Jervis with the corner triple. Say, Coach, I know Boogie's leaving, but I want some of that next year, Coach. Halon Rollins. Roman, tough jumper, front rim no good, and Fland with the rebound. And now the coronation that many thought would happen here on this, the second Sunday in March, appears to be seconds away. They were the preseason favorite. As a timeout is called, and I think this is just, what a classy move here by Pat Masseroni, an opportunity to, to give some guys that feel to close out this game. Guys who have worked so hard at practice, give them a chance to step on the court to close this game out. Six months of the year, six days a week, three hours a day. Your 12th, your 13th guy who helped you really prepare these guys. Now they get a chance, some of these young guys, to touch this uh, Fordham University floor. And... Uh, what a, and it also gives the fans a job to kind of acknowledge the great uh, performance today. Uh, four guys in double figures. Pretty impressive. I can't say enough of the job that Coach has done. Uh, terrific coaching game all around. And that's Amir Smith. Let's mention his name, right? And the same is true here for Nazareth. Gary Irvin responds in kind, giving his guys, who don't get a chance to step on the court much, an opportunity there's a layup by A.J. Moody, and that is it. Archbishop Stepanak. They go back to back in the Catholic League. They win this one 66 to 51. The Crusaders have won their fourth double-A championship, and it is a well-deserved celebration on that court. Incredible job. No better feeling than get to celebrate. You're going to get that trophy and that presentation in front of your family and friends. And uh, they don't know this now, but this league will keep going. And you look back, this will be a special year for those seniors and those guys that won this championship. They'll be remembered in Catholic League history. For those guys at Nazareth, certainly, listen, heads held high. They were not expected outside, perhaps, of inside of their locker room. They weren't expected to make the noise that they did in their first year back in the AA in 40 years. And what we know when we look at their roster and we look at the coaches that they have in their sideline, um, listen, they made noise this year, and now they will go from maybe the hunter to the hunted next year. They are a known commodity, and if Gary Irvin, as he said, he was trying to prove to everyone that Nazareth is one of the best teams in the city, well, guess what? You, you lose this game, but... That point has been made emphatically this year by the Kingsmen. Absolutely. Great job to Coach Gary, his staff, the players, Representative Brooklyn, the Catholic League, and uh, nothing to be ashamed about. Um, you know, I know those guys are going to be hurting in the locker room, but um, I'm sure that they'll have a great summer and really get back in the gym and can't wait to get back next year. Gary Irvin said that the loss here last year to Monsignor Farrell was the fuel that these guys needed in their first year in the AA. And it's what led them through 29 contests this year. They will end their year at 21 and 8. But certainly, future extremely bright. And for those guys as well, listen, if you're thinking, if you're an opponent and you're like, well, phew, boogie's out of here. You don't have to worry about those guys anymore. Well, good luck, because you saw a glimpse into your future in this game with the likes of Josiah Jervis and Hassan Karesi uh, just having massive games as underclassmen. Danny Carbusia at the point as well. Yeah, listen, Stepanak Nation, the jungle, you guys are good. If we had a fan duel, a DraftKings deal, they would be, again, 
coming back as the early favorite next year with those three guys. You got to throw St. Raymond's in the mix. You got to throw Nazareth in the mix. Um, Iona Prep's got a talented group. Christ the King will be back as usual. St. Francis Prep's got a hell of a core. So the future's bright, man. And uh, there'll be a lot of uh, wars next year coming down. Carpusia found himself a Dominican flag. We remember another guy wearing that Dominican flag, Felipe. winning a championship on this court, Felipe Lopez, before he went off to St. John's University. And shout out to Danny and his dad, Danny Sr., who's been a great supporter of his. They're from Yonkers, originally from the Heights. Um, big shout out, big pride in the Dominican culture. Like I said, he's the starting point guard of the Dominican national team, 17 and under. They're, they're announcing, Oliver, the all-league teams, Brandon Storrs, a guy who really started to put his team on his shoulders, especially in that comeback. He's one of them, not here to accept his award, but we know Josiah Jervis is. What a three games he had here in the intersectional playoffs. Big numbers for him. Tristan Rogers also among this all uh, postseason team. And Jarvis, who plays for Munch for PSA, I'm sure he's going to have a hell of a summer in the Nike EYL circuit. And uh, you're going to watch him all summer long. Big time talent. And Ritvo as well. Part of that all league team. I think I know who probably the MVP will be. I'm just saying. I mean, we're up here, we're not on court side, but Halon Rollins deserving his spot on this all league team as well. And he's got a bright future. All tournament, I should say. All tournament, all tournament team. team. Yeah, yeah. All tournament team. You right, see the right. emotions there by Halon Rollins. And he left it out there, man. You know, he, he did his best. And uh, I'm sure they're going to learn. They're going to watch the film. And that will motivate them uh, next year. And the most valuable player now being named. And, yeah, you folks in Lexington... You hope this is maybe the first of many for him as the tournament MVP, Boogie Flans, well-deserving of this recognition. Big Blue Nation, Coach Cal, you're getting a special one. McDonald's All-American, New York City champion. Can't wait to see him in the Big Blue Nation next year. This championship game was actually his lowest scoring output of the three intersectional games. Went for 43 against Christ the King. Big game in the semifinals as well. Nearly had a triple-double and today, 18 points. Six rebounds and three assists to lead Stepanak to another Catholic League championship. We'll take a quick break and we'll have the awards presentation as well when we return right here on the Varsity Media. Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Hey, sports fans. Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today. 516 403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net when it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. 
Welcome back to Rose Hill Gymnasium. As it is post game here of the double A championship game one. Game again won by Archbishop Stepanak. It's Dylan Butler alongside Oliver Antigua here at Rose Hill Gymnasium. This is the Hot Shot Basketball postgame show. Our goal is to make basketball so much fun that your child has no choice but to fall in love. Join us for our first ever three-on-three tournament this Memorial Day weekend. Visit our website, hotshotbasketballnyc.com, to register your team today. So Dylan Butler here alongside Oliver Antigua as the awards are being presented now and as Nazareth getting theirs, Gary Irvin right now at midcourt uh, accepting an award that unfortunately I think for him uh, he's a little bit too familiar with. His third consecutive year of reaching a championship game, reached the A championship the last couple years, lost and now in the double A uh, losing this game as well. And he's got a core that's coming back. I have no doubt that they will use this as motivation, get back in the gym, and try to uh, finish the job next year that they couldn't do this year. When you talk about finishing the job, it's time to look at our top play of the game by Supreme Hoops Training. Based in Queens, New York, Supreme Hoops Training aims to provide high-level basketball skill development in New York City. With multiple trainers on staff, they offer training programs that are tailored to all skill levels. Their goal is to help you become a supreme player. Book a session today at supremehoopstraining.com. And now let's take a look, Oliver, at that supreme play of the game. As Stepana gets out and running, and there's the finish at the hoop and the foul by Josiah Jervis. A big boy play by Josiah Jervis. It is our top play of the game, brought to you by Supreme Hoops Training. So Oliver, the individual awards being presented to these Crusaders. And Howard Isley, a guy here, unfortunately for him, injured. Didn't get a chance to play uh, in a role that he hoped he would have. Um, but still, obviously, big part of this team and how they got here. And there's Jordan Gabriel. And you see the great turnout and the support by Stefanek fans that came out celebrating with their team. And now the kids are getting recognized. And uh, once we get this, you cut down the nets and then let the party begin. Well, and here it comes now. It'll be Pat Masseroni joined by his staff, and he said it from the very beginning when Rodney Swain came and became his associate head coach. It changed the culture at Stepanak, and it started with guys like R.J. Davis and uh, has now continued to this group, and there you see Pat Masseroni with Paul Gilvery and Kevin Piggott next to him to accept the, I think that was his coach of the year plaque and now he'll get to pick up the big trophy. It's one they did last year after losing in this game two years ago but now here in the Bronx Pat Masseroni gets to lift a trophy that He's lifted before now. This is his third time to do so. The fourth double-A championship for the Crusaders in the school's history. But what a big moment for him on this big stage. And you see all the names of the past champions. It's something that I love that they do. The school gets to hold a trophy for the entire year and must bring it back for the city championship game. And uh, he gets to keep it for another year. Pretty special and they might bring said trophy back next year as a competitor in this championship game. Uh, there is no reason to believe that there will be a fall off for the Crusaders as Pat Masseroni pushing the masses back. Coach has a plethora of talent, underclassmen coming back with this experience 
It's huge because they know what it takes to win. They taste victory. And now they can help lead the young guys that haven't been there and try to help them rebuild it. But got to enjoy this uh, time with your family and your friends. Everyone puts a lot of hard hours and hard work in. And this is what it's about. Yeah, so the fourth AA championship. Now Stepanak also having won the A three times. They have a federation championship as well. And now another championship for Archbishop Stepanak. We've got the winning coach down courtside with John Perez. Actually, we've got Boogie, I think, with him as well. Good catch by John, Boogie, and Pat as well down the courtside. Boogie Flynn, you're in rarefied air, back-to-back -back city champs. Take me through the emotions. Uh, I mean, it's so surreal. I mean, you dream of this as a kid growing up, getting into high school, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. And for me, I say I'm blessed. You know, all the hard work that I did is paying off. And, you know, just being able to accomplish it with my team, my coaches, my family, I mean, it's a blessing. What does it mean to wear this Stepanak uniform? It means everything to me. You know, I wear it with my blood, sweat, and tears, you know. It's who I am inside and out. And I'll forever have them in my heart. One time ago, there was a young man growing up in the Bronx. Now he's a two-time city champion. What message would you have to a young Boogie Flan? Keep going. I mean, you did it. You got to where you wanted to get to. You know, we still got more to accomplish. But for you to win a city championship in the Bronx, where you're from, I mean, it's God's plan. Boogie, I'll let you go celebrate. Congratulations. That's Boogie Flan. And uh, wait for Pat Masseroni. He is the... Uh, he is the most popular man right now outside of Boogie Fland, and uh, it's a heavy trophy, Pat, but I'd have to imagine you're uh, gliding on air right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, so proud of our guys, um, our staff, uh, total team effort, um, the way we guarded today, the way we guarded since we lost to St. Raymond's, and, um, you know, just, just, you know, I, I know Oliver's up there listening, and, and to get another one, it's, uh, and be in that category with certain guys, me and Swain, you know, three, Swain, Al, Lex, and I, Oh, my God, here she is. What's up, Tay? He's awesome. Oh. You, you mentioned that family-like atmosphere. Obviously, you got a precious little one yeah. over here, too. For you, just how proud are you of this group and this culture that you've built? Yeah, you know, it's hard in today's world um, with the transfer portal, uh, with, you know, different leagues and different schools poaching different kids. And, um, look, as I told you after the game the other night, uh, you know, I get the credit, but this is a team effort. This is a group effort. There's people that support me and us um, in and out of the school and these parents, the kids that have played before us. You know, I could imagine the amount of guys that text me before and my phone now, but it's been a culture and a way that we do things. Um, it's not built for everybody. Uh, and, and that's, again, you know, how we wanted to do it from beginning to end. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to keep this thing going as, as many years as we can. Pat, I'll let you go celebrate. Congratulations. Thanks, Appreciate it. Taylor Hurst. Pat Masseroni and Taylor Masseroni, champions once again. We'll send it back upstairs. Thanks so much, John. Congratulations to Boogie Flans, who will be doing a lot of this in the next uh, probably 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of posing for pictures. You see him there with his dad, John, his mom, Kima. I'm sure they're proud of all the hard work and the time and effort. It takes a village, you know. A lot of driving to practices and picking up the trains and going to AAU and late night practices at STEP. So true, true total team effort and uh, great to see them get to enjoy this with the family. Yeah, so Boogie Flans, another championship for him in this storied career that will continue at Kentucky next year. And congratulations as well to Pat Masseroni for another Catholic League Championship as Stepanak wins this one 66 to 51. That'll do it here from Rose Hill Gymnasium for our entire Varsity Media crew, and it's a big one today. Executive producer Ben Turchin, our technical director is Chris Sweeney. Bringing you all those moving images, Travis DeLuise, Dan Acevedo, and Ron Pierre. Sideline reporter John Perez. For my broadcast partner, Oliver Antigua, with Dylan Butler, thanking you for joining us from Rose Hill Gymnasium. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Varsity Media Sports Network.